Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play This Gaia! Let's head on into Vyre's Castle. I'm trying to find a way to break in there. Now, here, uh, well, it's the same battlefield as before, but the enemies are much more powerful. And we've got uh, different geo effects and all that sort of jazz. So, first things first. Uh, actually, let's have you go there. I'm not even worried about the damage 20% geo symbol. I might do something about it later, but uh, eh, not right now. Uh, yeah, we'll have to do that. I heard uh, someone was telling me, H.C. Bailey, uh, the way the uh, levels are figured for Etna mode, New Game Plus versus Normal mode, is they actually calculate it. Uh, the levels are multiplied by five, but it's multiplied by five, then plus 60. That's why their levels are so high. Otherwise, you'd be fighting level one and two enemies. It's just not the same as Meteor Impact, but oh well. Not much we can do about it. Sadly, without Laharl or Flan, I only have two characters to use. Why are you attacking me? You're a cleric. You should, I don't know, cast spells or something. They did have spells, but uh, for some reason they decided not to cast them, I guess. I don't know. You got me on that one, viewers. But uh, anyway, let's continue onward. Let's head inside. For a new demon, he sure is living in a nice place. Prick. <laughs> Be careful, dude! We came through the main entrance and no one's appeared yet! Besides the people at the main entrance? You're right. It almost seems like he's... Not home? So, you made me come all this way for nothing? Well, we could just loot the place. That's it! I gotta... break something! Dude, he should be here! I've done the research, dude! Right now, Fire should be staring into his mirror, asking who's the most Adonic of them all, dude! Is there even a real word, Adonic? I mean, I know Adonis is a real word. Yeah, he was voted most likely to earn a degrading name in the pretty times, dude. <laughs> so, he's in his room. I've done the research, dude. I like how they make references to the main storyline. All right, you know what to do. Standard pretty looting formation. Let's move it. Roger that, dude. Okay, so again, same battlefield. New things going on here. So, let's take a look. Uh, we got attacks plus one and enemy... Oh, I forgot to turn off the uh, spell animations. Whoops. I just wanted to show Chaos Impact again. Well, okay, now you get to see Big Bang. Wow, they must have been, like, weak to fire or something. I don't know. But, uh, okay, so let's go with good asteroid drop. Hmm... Okay, I'll let you go all the way up there then. And let's have Etna and the Nazgard uh, take care of these two losers. I don't even need to use my uh, special abilities. Just get in range and take them out. We also have some other Geo symbols here. Recovery, another enemy boost for some reason. I don't know why you would want that, but... Well, there it is. Why would... Oh, I guess they used it on themselves. By the way, one thing to keep in mind, there's a huge gap in the floor here, so you can't just walk all the way over there. But I do have... Uh, game? I do have... Big Bang to uh, help me out. Okay, so, let's send the Nazgard in there. Move him forward. Shoot one of those guys. Easy enough. And then we'll finish them off with a good asteroid drop. I'm pretty much just blasting through the battles, because, really, at my mode, it's about the story. It's not about the battles, or, or anything like that. I didn't want to just do a regular new game, because... Uh, well, I'd have to start at level one, and I'd have to do the grinding all over again. I'd rather just 
blast through the battles at this point. But yeah, we got these uh, geo panels here. We got damage, recovery, if you want to use them for some reason. I'm not going to, but you can if you want. Let's just take those two out. Then send out Etna this way. Let's use a good uh, printy ray. Dude. And let's send the other two this way. <laughs> one down. And one to go. And let's just pass the turn. These guys are really much of a threat. Aw, oh, man, you couldn't even counterattack them. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. Let's do that. Etna, you can attack that one. See, you can go. Hmm. I got an idea. How about you just get thrown over there? And then asteroid drop. That'll do. Uh-oh. I have to face myself now. What next? An army of Laharls? No. No, we don't have to do that in the mode. Thank goodness. <laughs> Um, did... Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, did she move? Now she's gonna get first blood. Haha! Yeah, even if you're... Uh, use... Well, beyond melee range, you can still counter with a ranged weapon, like a spear or a gun. I suppose a bow might work too, but, uh... Okay, so let's head on to the final battle of Byers Castle with Midboss. Let's find out. All right, this is the last room. Take everything that's valuable. <laughs> uh oh. Master Etna, did you hear that? <laughs> what? You're just hearing things. Yeah, you're just paranoid. <laughs> <laughs> He's choking, dude! How rude! You should never ignore a gentleman! How rude! What is it now? Kinda busy here? Looting your room? That is hardly a proper reaction after pilfering moi's treasure. But I give you credit for your bravery! <laughs> I wonder if they're using the same voice actors here. My name is Byers. I am the lord of this castle. So obviously all this Etna mode content is, uh, well, recorded years after the original. Finally! So you're Byers. <laughs> what is it now, you freak? I cannot help it. It seems when people call moi that name, I get this overwhelming sensation. Oh, it brings such tears to my eyes. Looks like the rumors were right. You are a freak. My dear, I am an aristocrat blessed with beauty and power. They call moi the Dark Adonis. At least I mean when you pay. Now, mademoiselle, you are no ordinary thief. Am moi right? Yeah, well, you're no ordinary spaz. I admit it, I came here to eliminate you. Ah, I see. But, mademoiselle, you cannot defeat moi. Yeah, that's what they all say. But too bad for you, I'm not your opponent today. Even though I'm like 20 times your level, probably. <laughs> then who wishes to face moi? Beg for mercy! You face the son of King Krzyzewskoy, Prince Laharl! Um, <laughs> nice to meet you! I'm Prince Laharl! <laughs> Your attempts at humor don't go over well with nobles, such as myself. You think this is a joke? What's the problem? I'm Prince Laharl, dude! You, sir, are a prinny. Well, Laharl was reincarnated. You idiot! Look closer! Don't you see the antenna? He's half human. He can be reincarnated into a prinny. <laughs> Well, Laharl did have those. But that doesn't explain how Bal was able to be cre reincarnated into a printing. See? That proves he's the prince! 
you would have moi believe he is the prince simply because he has antennae? What more could you possibly want? Laharl is Krichevskoy's son, is he not? Shouldn't he have something more? His father's noble and sparkling good looks, for example? <laughs> yeah, right. If he was anything like his father, I wouldn't have killed him. Huh? <laughs> I just like how yeah, he says that, that look on his face. Oh, uh... Anyways, this is the prince. It doesn't matter what you say. Wait! W w what happened to, uh... Master Edna, this ain't gonna work, dude! I like how they just make the dialogue as though you've played the entire game already, which obviously you would have, but uh, yeah, I just like the self-referential humor, I guess, or whatever you call it. Okay, so, yeah, same battlefield, just different stuff going on here. We got some attack plus 50% geo symbols if you really wanted to use them, but well, I don't think that's necessary. So uh, let's see. Let's attack you, and then send Etna up there, and we'll be good to go. Ah, oh. I'm guessing these guys are hate even though they are, they have really high levels. I'm guessing their AI is still scripted to behave as though they're low-level characters, which would not attack you, even if your uh, like in range of them. Low-level characters will do that because they're idiots. That's why they're low-level. Not as low-level as a printing, but if you take what you can get. All right, mid-boss down. Do I have printies in my party? I don't think I do. I see. Beautiful mademoiselle, does your conscience not ache? Nope, not at all. Yeah, dude! Nothing can hurt Master Etna's dark conscience! <laughs> I would think she would take that as a compliment. Why should I feel bad about defeating you anyway? That is not what I meant. Do you have no regard for the wishes of your master? Have you no loyalties to anyone? Hey, you're a demon too. Betrayal is a part of what we do. Yeah, pretty much. Besides, I pledged my loyalty to King Krichevskoy, not the prince. Do you believe King Krichevskoy would be proud of you were he standing before you now? <laughs> what? King Krichevskoy is dead. Hmm? Well... Technically. Now I'm gonna decide how I'm gonna live my life. I'm sure King Krichevskoy would understand. Let's go, pretties! Looks like we've had a change of plans. What will he do now? Hmm. <laughs> I wonder what yes. they'll do. He just woke up, but his powers are still there. In fact, he just crushed the new up-and-coming demon by brute force. With my help doing all dirty work. I see. But still, how did he survive after drinking that potion? And he has gained so much power. This is not good. Don't worry about it. Leave everything to me in the cr Are Oops, you certain? Sorry. Of course. Just remember. I just got itchy trigger fingers sometimes. I know. When I reign as the Overlord, I will give you what you want. <laughs> I love the over-the-top laughs. Like I said, I wonder if they're using the same voice actors or not. I mean, it kind of sounds like them, but it sounds like they're doing a parody of their original voice acting. Q&A Corner! This isn't the next episode preview! Even though the game is kind of a parody of itself already. I'm taking this time out of my busy schedule to answer all your letters. This has got to be a scam, dude. Let's check out the first letter. 
It's from a seven-year-old boy from Earth. Now let's see. Help me! I'm always being picked on at school. A devil worshiper being picked on at school? Sounds pretty serious, dude. Are you sure you can handle it? Maybe he's gothic. Please, they're little kids. I can massacre like a billion little bullies. Wow, dude! Master Edna, you're willing to help him out? Sure. And I'll do it for the amazingly low price of 500 million hell. Well, I've got 50 billion already. What? No kid can afford that, dude. All they have to do is ask their mom or dad. But no one has that kind of dough, dude. Well, I'm not running a charity here. Mm, yeah, that's true. So you're not going to do anything? You're horrible, dude. Fine, he doesn't have to pay now. After he dies and becomes a printy, I'll just make him work it off. After all, he's a devil worshiper. Don't do it, dude! 20 hour work days are hell! Run away while you still can, dude! <laughs> if you really want my help, send me another letter. I like the printies. You don't even get paid, dude! You hardly get fed, too! Don't even think about it! Okay, you keep on talking and I'll toss you out again. Dude. <laughs> well, alright, we've defeated Mid-Boss, but what's Flan doing now? Find out next time on Let's Play This Gaia! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!